don't wanna fuck up none. Fun, we don't wanna fuck up none. And we don't give a fuck about none. Niggas go snitch regardless, bitch. Y'all just never go switch. My mama writes out. Ain't coming come for nothing I got. Christian Dior, I'm crippin' BR. Made the up all let it. Five oh fucking with the yay yo two. LVPD get sprayed, don't you? I just wanna dance, dance with, with you, baby. baby. Just don't act too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, we're Jungle Beats, Australia's plug to the biggest potatoes in the country. Oh, they have gone off! I'm Alexander Sandalas, aka Every Bitch's Worst Nightmare. <laughs> I'm Eucalyptus, the hungriest koala in the East. <laughs> and we together are Australia's hottest interracial <laughs> couple. <laughs> Not only are we hot and interracial, it's alright, that's all we are. We're reviewing Vince Staples' new 22 minute album. Thank you very much, Vince Staples, for making a short album. Thank you for watching our videos. Holy shit. Thank you to every artist who makes an album under 30 minutes. We fucking salute you when you're doing great for our country, even though it's not our country. You're supposed to salute out, down, or. Man, salute how the fuck you want. If you want to salute like this, you can do that, man. Salute how the fuck you want. All right. I want to give a little background. Vince made a post uh, about FM with a posh remark. Don't know what it stands for, so be sure to let us know. Cool. As artists, we are nothing without our fans. I took time off from recording my next album to make a very special project de dedicated to my biggest fan and supporter since day one. Damn, this is for a fan? He said he needed something that represented him and where he comes from, so here it is. Thank you for the years of loyalty. I do this for people like you. However, the photos of Vince as a kid. Well, it looks like Vince. Maybe he's his biggest fan. Well, that's what I thought. Is he talking about himself? I guess we will see. Mm-hmm. Shall we start? Nah. You want to fuck this whole review? I don't want to do Vince no more. His okay. last album was pretty bad. Yeah, we reviewed it, so be sure. Incoming to... hate! Nah, it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't terrible. It just wasn't for me. He actually did really good on the album. Feels Like Summer. Didn't Charles Gambino do a track called Feels Like Summer? Yeah, with that music video, right? That was a good music video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going bang. I can tell. That's a big boy. That's high doll. Of course, don't stop, bro. Of course, high doll. Every album. <laughs> Every. Oh, great Whoa, transition. Let's straight into the next track. Really, I think this album's gonna be that type of album, being how short it is, especially. Mm. I think it's a great feature by Mr. Ty Dollar. And also, funny because he worked with his last album with the track uh, Rain Comes Down. Mm. When the sun goes down. Kind of similar vibe. Mm, I'm not sure, but either way, just... You could say no, Alexander, man. It's okay. Well, no, no, that's the thing. I'm not sure, so... Okay. I'd say, man, you know me. I don't give no fucks. If I disagree with you, I'll shit on you. Be careful. I'll shit Br on this man. Bring your umbrella. He'll be sleeping. Three nuggets in his throat. Choke on that bitch. Um, but yeah, I thought this track was okay. It was kind of like I vibed the whole way through. I actually wasn't huge on Ty Dollar's hook. I, I agree it was a good hook, but I don't think it matched... I personally don't think it matched sort of Vince's style and the beat. I just, uh, I, I think it did, but that's okay. But I felt the very same on the on the title on the last album as well. Like right, a lot okay. of people, a lot of people thought the Rain Come Down was one of the best tracks in that album. Yeah. I personally didn't feel it so as much. So maybe you just don't think they match. I honestly don't. I honestly don't think their styles worked well together. That's okay. But a lot of people out there think different to me, and that's what matters. So, but I, I think the Vince was the heart of that track for me. The production was nice, but that's yeah. it was all right. Not going to touch more on the lyrical content, just. Superficially touching on the exactly. on what Vince usually talks about. Smooth transition though, next track. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. Touch my balls. Yes, 
These transitions are good. They are. I feel like we should all be letting this whole thing play. However, <laughs> that's not what we do. It's not most of the time. Yes. Production was the highlight for me on that track. It was super eclectic and, and, and kind of funky, bouncy, weird layers and textures. Mm. And I see you bouncing towards the end when Vince kind of picked it up a little bit with his flow. That was my favorite part too. I assume it was for you too. It was. I wasn't big on the hook here. The whole East Star, West Star, dear, nah. But I kind of get that's kind of like the style I was going for. Um, Other than that, this track is not very memorable for me. No. Like you said, the production was good. And like I said, the layering was sort of a bit different, a bit over the place. And I thought that even though this is what he's going for, I thought it could have been layered better or done in a way where I was, I don't know, it was kind of a bit, bit, bit messy for me and not the good kind. So... I was vibing towards the end, but overall, I didn't really think this was a very good track. Don't get tracked. Okay. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, I fuck with that. That's the best track on the album so best far. Best track so far. Production was crazy. Had a bit of zaneness to it. It was just, it was wild. J Rock's look was nice there too. I actually would have loved the verse from him. I thought his, his voice would have sound and his comedic sort of voice would have really matched Vince on here. So I'm really kind of annoyed there was no J Rock verse, but at the same time, it was a good hook. Vince went off on this. Really good track. I never really heard Vince um, rap in these types of tonalities before. That's, that's why He's I liked it a lot too. He's definitely trying something different. Mm. And I admire that. I, I'm trying to think where he's drawing inspiration from that. I thought it was Kendrick. Maybe you don't think so, but let us know who you that reminds you of. Everybody say it's lonely at the top. I want my homies at the top. My little homie, he got shot. And now I'm mo moving my lonely with my 40 in the, in the mop. Like, I, I, it's important, but... He's in the mop? No, I'm just saying what he's rapping about is, is, is important, but I, I'm, we're not really touching on anything particularly deep or like really this sticks out to me right now. Well, he said it's for him, so maybe, and this track's called Fun, that will be coming up eventually, so maybe that's what this album is. Mm. Maybe it's just music for him to feel good. Relay. 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 Fit shirt on Skinner. Got blurt with the hammer. Fit shirt on Skinner. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So he's obviously trying to give this sort of radio feel, like this radio talks in between the tracks, as if his whole this whole tape is like one one smooth part yeah, of the station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Which a few artists have tried, and I think it's a it's a nice, it's a good concept mm -hmm. and co cohesively, like sonically, this is cohesive to me. It's it all, is. The production is matching a lot. Yeah. And his style's matching a lot. The song structuring is quite mm. similar. Hook heavy, chorus heavy. Um, he's always been quite hook heavy and it's always been his, and it's funny because it's always been his weak point as well I believe is the weakest point of Vince is his hooks this is a good hook though you like it but it repeated a lot it repeated too much I feel excessive. like the verses were so short that's the whole been the whole album though has it? I we're looking at like 6 to 15 bars but has there been like 3 hooks on every track? I honestly feel like him starting with a hook was smart 
him ending on the hook was smart, but that middle hook was not needed because mm-hmm. the middle hook, in the, even the verse he had after the middle hook was very similar to the hook, so it kind of dragged a bit. I think take away that middle section, keep it a long, strong verse of flows and a few switch ups of the beat. Like when that beat, when the bass came back in after that second hook, you were just like, mm. because that production has really driven this album thus far. I think correct. The production has been definitely the highlight. We interrupt this broadcast of your review of Vince Staples FM to let you guys know that we now have memberships available on YouTube. Um, Bro, one of the rewards is close. getting my dick sucked by you guys. So if you guys want that organized, it's a good do, dick. They support us. He knows this dick ain't free. Nope. All you got to do is go to uh, Patreon. <laughs> All you got to do is click the join button on our channel, man. You know, help us out, man. We thirsty. We're just trying to eat. Let's get back to Vince, bro. <laughs> hey, man. What you... Hey, when we making... How, how come your dick get sucked? How come my dick don't get sucked? That's the next feature. Earl Sweatshirt on Big Boy's Neighborhood. He's trolling with that. Earl Sweatshirt is a verb? Oh, don't tease me like that. Tease me. How are you gonna give me El Sweatshirt after like three years and give him like, damn man. We're the bands with the bands. 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 I'm not the one to say. 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 I'm not the strongest point right here. Really Started in smooth. with that spooky. Oh, those keys like dun, intro. Dun, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> uh, dope track. I fuck with it. Oh! How you doing? My name. Oh! Oh! You know who we shot. You know how we coming come from the oh. back. Yeah. Christian Dior. I'm Christian Dior. Made the up. Oh, let him miss any door. He's in the lake. Free Kodak? No, I didn't. That's so cool. Look at that. I have a look at that little Easter egg. I mean, that's funny. It's Kodak Black. <laughs> yeah, but Vince Depp was being pretty vocal about yeah. that. I just think it's a cool little Easter egg that he put in there. I don't really. It's not my opinion. But anyway, that's true, man. That was a really dope video. Yeah. Really creative. I wonder if he contacted Google Maps to do that because they obviously have the. The car? The 360 or, cameras and all that. So I wonder if they got them to do that or I wonder if that was just really well edited. 
Because you could edit it in that way. I just think right. it'd be I, cool if you got the I other people on board. To edit that man, that's that's unreal. Uh, really creative. Absolutely. We just want to have fun and super catchy as well. This album for me is getting better. I'm enjoying it a little more now. I personally feel that if I went back to this album and for what, more listens, yeah. it's a grower. Yeah. It's de- and it's definitely one where you've got to be in that right mindset of maybe not giving a fuck too much. You just yeah. want to be like, because the hook, like you said, it's very hook heavy. The production is what draws you in as well. So um, yeah, pretty pretty good track. Vince Staples, I feel like he's not really trying to get us to think. He's just getting us to feel. And again, that radio joint. I can't believe they teased me with the L like that though. Look at that jungle vibe. This is our anthem, bro. I don't know if that's how you say it. Isn't that a girl though? You sound like a guy. Boys, yeah, female. Sure you keep Damn. Oh, wait. You sure it's the right track? That did not sound like Kamaya. Yeah, man. This is the joint. This is called No Bleeding. You hear the fucking hook a hundred times? No bleeding. Remember how I told you about the Vince Staples hook? Yeah. Where he repeats it all the time? Yeah. Remember that one with the, the hook, the... Uh, for the with the bands, the with the bands, like good hook, but repeated. This one here, Dun, 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 no bleed. It's the Vince Staples hook effect, man. Right. He Let's just loves about this. Yeah. He loves repeating one sentence over and over again. Vince Staples is prone to do it, and I proved it in previous videos. Go to Big Fish Theory review. I proved in that motherfucker. Yeah, you're right. But I'm having fun with this right now. I'm 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 enjoying <sighs> it more. I don't mind it. The I'm bopping my head to it. See, the beat was dope. I wasn't feeling the hook too much. Vince was good. I did not feel Camille at all. I thought her uh, her verse in here was very average. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that either. Yeah. Good beat though. It's cooling. Uh, brand new Tiger interlude. Enjoy this. Hello. In seven seconds, name oh, seven why do you call it FM? people whose name begin with. Because it's fucking radio. Your time <laughs> He must be tweaking, 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 tweaking. And then guess what this is called? Uh, tweaking. Good one. Who's this? Big boy. And that's it. That's it, man. It's a dope way to finish. Yeah. Kalani's hook was probably the best feature on this album. One of the. She was amazing. Yeah. Uh, I liked the the beat. The beat was. She just suited the track so well. Did. The beat was spacey. Uh, Vince kind of had more of a a trap approach flow to it, which kind of makes sense because the interlude was very trap focused heavy. So I think he could base. I think he definitely took that flow approach because you know he had the flow like. Then when I then when I dun dun 
Then when it, then when, like it's a very common flow within trap today. So I think he took that on purpose here, and it worked. It worked really good with this track. This seems to me the more fl the most fleshed out track here, kind of the most um, comprehensive. Mm. And now that I see the whole scope of the album, now to pack my thoughts on this album, FM FM Radio, Vince Staples creating his own kind of station and listening experience. I actually quite enjoyed this now and I appreciate it and respect it for what it's trying to do and give the listener just an experience of what Vince Staples wants. Hey, maybe he doesn't even, maybe it's just for him, but uh, especially putting in the big boy little interludes, I thought, yeah, no, I'm listening, man. Okay. He wouldn't contact big boy like, hey, man, how would you like to be like a huge part of the concept of my album? Because I know they're, they're cool. Yeah. So Vince, I think this is good for its purpose and intention. Vince, I fuck with the production overall in this album. I, oh, think, yeah. I think you sound really good in this type of production. But yeah. once again, I feel you got to experiment more with your hooks, uh, more verses. It's nice to hear you experiment with a bit more different flows and uh, voice techniques on this album. But I uh, would have liked to hear a J-Rock verse. Maybe more features in a way. Maybe the um, next project we're looking forward to like something yeah. a bit more fleshed out and comprehensive and complex. Like That's the thing with you and me. Every time I see the good that I see from an album, I always see the bad as well. There's never, there's never sort of like just the good. Does he have a classic? Potentially, uh, whatever the fuck that album, 03 summer? summer? Summertime 03? Summertime 06? Summertime 06. Um, I love that album a lot. Potentially, I, don't, I wouldn't call it a classic yet, but uh, could potentially be. But uh, I'm excited to get back to this album because I might like it more. A Jungle Beast. <laughs> Well, Jungle Beast, make sure you uh, join our channel membership if you want to suck our dicks. See ya. Our dicks? I thought it was just your dick. Hey, man, I've added you to the fucking reward Bro, now. My dick is getting ready. It's thirsty. It's thirsty. Probably why none of my comments came. Just put a biz in my mama's name. Hey, tell me you're from some Hungarian. Hey, hey. 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 Hey, hey